the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video transversal through paper folding through paper folding now uh, we had already taken up an example of uh, the transversal and paper folding in the case of uh, the two lines not being parallel so we had uh, proved how the vertically opposite angles are equal now let us see how we can demonstrate the concept of uh, transversal when these two lines are parallel so without any measurement device we can form the parallel lines and also the transversal and uh, define the different concepts so how to form parallel lines so let us uh, take this rectangular sized paper and fold it horizontally bringing the top side of the paper towards the lower side and make a strong crease now this has become a straight line right now we have to form another straight line so what we do fold the paper horizontally uh, take the lower base and uh, fold it uh, towards the upper portion of the paper and make a very strong crease so then what happens now this has become a line and now line 1 and line 2 these are parallel lines so we have formed parallel lines 1 and 2 you know this is a good exercise for the child the child can feel yes this is a rectangle right now these two are lines the creases will help the child to uh, understand that the distance between these two lines is same now the transversal is going through these two lines on the same plane at two distinct points so what we do we simply fold the paper uh, in the vertical side but not in the perpendicular way let the transversal go through the lines at two different points now we have the transversal right now all these have tactile markings so let us call uh, the transversal as line uh, 3 so 3 is the transversal 1 is line 1 2 is line 2 now we had already proved that the opposite angles are equal now using this if we define angle a angle b angle c angle d angle e angle f angle g and angle h now using the same principle we can prove that angle b angle f which are uh, the corresponding angles are equal angle c and angle g which are corresponding angles which are equal similarly angle a and e are equal d and h are equal so using this uh, paper folding you can develop all types of uh, the angles uh, formed by the transversal now use the paper strip to find out the angle b now this angle b is equal to angle f because they are corresponding angles this angle is equal to angle D because it is a vertically opposite angle and D and H are corresponding angles so H becomes the same as D so similarly you can use the different paper strips to define the different concepts of angles and how they are similar to each other now 
if you just want to form the perpendicular transversal so you can simply make a perpendicular line uh, which is uh, nothing but the perpendicular transversal you can make a crease and join the line and then help the child to identify these angles and how all the angles you know exterior interior vertically opposite uh, consecutive angles all these angles how they are uh, same you know this concept uh, can be uh, developed in the child so you can use uh, either uh, magnetic strips which are good to explain the concept of uh, transversal and intersecting lines and at the same time you can use uh, paper folding too well visually it may look attractive with the use of uh, magnetic strips it is good but uh, the paper folding exercise is equally interesting in the case of a visually impaired child because the child has better control over uh, this operation because everything is tactile in nature so hope uh, the series of uh, videos on transversal uh, has given enough understanding of uh, this concept these angles are very important in geometry mm -hmm.